Otitis externa, commonly known as swimmer's ear, is an inflammation of the skin and subcutaneous tissue of the external auditory canal. It is predominantly caused by bacteria, with pseudomonas being the most frequent culprit. This condition is usually unilateral, means affecting only one ear. The primary risk factors include exposure of the ear canal to water or local trauma. Other contributing factors include allergies, dermatological conditions such as psoriasis and eczema, reduced acidity of the canal due to frequent water exposure, congenitally narrow ear canal, irritants like sprays or hair dyes, and prolonged use of earplug and headphone. While acute otitis externa is most prevalent among 5 to 10 year olds, more than half of the cases occur in adults over 20 years old, with a decrease observed in those over 50 years old. Symptoms of acute otitis externa develop rapidly, typically within 48 hours. Common symptoms include ear pain or otalgia, worsened by ear manipulation. Early signs may include etching or pruritus, redness or erythema, and a clear discharge. Progression of the infection leads to increased pain and swelling or edema, along with a seroprolin discharge. Edema of the canal skin combined with ear drainage and debris can cause a sensation of fullness and conductive hearing loss. Additional symptoms may include fever and a swelling of the ear canal. A swimmer's ear may be diagnosed with a complete medical history and physical examination by your healthcare provider. He or she may utilize an otoscope or a lighting instrument that helps to examine the ear and to aid in the diagnosis of ear disorders. This helps differentiate it from middle ear infections or otitis media, although concurrent infections can occur. The history should focus on symptom onset, duration, and severity as well as habits involving exposure to water and ear hygiene. The first line of treatment for otitis externa is largely preventive. Occlusive earplugs should be used for swimming, and proper fitting of hearing aids helps to minimize the trauma associated with their insertion and removal. Drying of the auditory canal should be encouraged. However, cotton-tipped applicators or similar devices should not be used, as they are likely to cause local trauma and exacerbate any inflammation that is already present. Acetic acid irrigation in the absence of antibiotics may be effective in early otitis externa. Topical therapy is the treatment of choice for otitis externa, as oral antibiotics have been shown not to be effective. Corticosteroid eardrops can be used to help decrease the swelling. Pain relief medications may be recommended. And finally, keeping the ears dry, facilitate recovery and avoid recurrence.